Hello and welcome back to Bloodborne. You really realise that we're standing in a slightly different position. This is because I've also left the sound on, sorry. This is because I fucked up. I balked up the recording um, while I was doing some farming, sorry. So I will interject the original recording of us going through this event here, this fog gate, before we do it. Um, so you're going to see a slight cut. It's, sorry, it's uh, a little bit weird there. Um, the other thing is I also Look at those weird statues though, how weird are those? Weird. See? Cthulhu with a spear. I told you things were gonna get weird. I also balked up something else, which I, I will explain after we hopefully kill the boss. Things I've done off camera, for those curious, I have, uh, let's see. I've leveled up somewhat, including my weapons, so let's quickly have a look. There is a threaded cane plus five, which has been leveled. I've also gained a few stats, as you can see, I'm now level 38. And I put stats into these positions. Did that off camera since it's a bit easier. Right. Uh, I'm going to put the cutscene in here, so enjoy. Okay, got that? Good. We're gonna go through and uh, do this. Yeah, so I had to bold Hunter's Mark out of this when I, I sort of stuffed up the thing, so... Either way, hello, Vicar. Uh, let's try not to die. It'll be grand. Uh, not again. Of course, I'd have to not stuff this up. Oh, wait, unequip my weapon. Now, we can easily set fire to the Vicar. Um, though, I say easily. Side where oh Jesus. Christ. This is not the easiest of fights, I'll be honest. She only has a few moves, but she's a bit tricksy. Uh. Oh crap. Right, let's uh, try to not explode. The updated cane is gonna make things a bit uh. Stop screeching at me, you bastard. Ow. Here, have fire, miserable swine. Now, I should be saving this really, because it's important that we don't fuck this up. Also, those screams are scary as fuck, just saying. Ugh. Shit, shit. Can't see. Can't see. Dodge. Heal. Ah. Uh, should have got around the front there. Again, unfortunately, I can't hear the... She's praying. She wants to heal. What do we say about that? We say fire. You have to be careful because of this fur, you can't necessarily see what we're doing. Also, I apologise if I'm not talking particularly coherently, this is actually a lot trickier than it looks. She heals through this, so we have to slap her a bit to get her out of that. I'm going to be rather not very frugal with the healing potion, simply because... Uh, that doesn't mean she's any less dangerous. 
this also. Vicky Amelia has six ends to her body, five of which are pointy. Let's see if we can stay away from her, shall we? Ah, shit, that's not fucking good. Ah, shit. Am I dead? Amazing. I'm not dead. I will be unless I get the fuck out of dodge, like sharpish. Let's go. And heal. Oh. Ugh. Dead yet. Amazingly. Again, amazingly. Whoo boy, that was a fucking close one. Ah oh, man, that's rough. Generally, a lot of people come to her later than I did her there. Uh, she gives you a lot more souls and everything else. Sorry, blood echoes. And Jesus. What a rough ass fight that is. Whoo boy. But hey, we did it. Take a step forward. Fine note. Wait, did I say that was fine? No, I said it was foul. Oh god, I'm so sorry. It's god, I fouled your note. I befouled it with my clicking. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Well, unsettling. Right, we're gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream in a minute. Uh, simply to replenish our stocks um, and level up. So, give me two ticks. Right. Pardon me, madam. If I could perhaps wake you from your slumber. Ah, what is. Uh, let's see. Very well, let me. I wish to. One in there, and one in there will do nicely. Excellent, excuse me. Now, I don't think there's anything new in the the thingy here, but let's have a quick look. Uh, let's see. Sinister Bell, which I didn't bother buying in the first place. Stone Shards, which I got tons of, I'm mad. Uh, that's about it, so. Oh, speaking of, if I got that many, can I break the gun? Didn't check. Fortify weapon. No. So I did get a pendant, which I can use. Off the boss. Gold pendant. Vicar Amelia's pendant, used to gain a blood gem. The pendant of Vicar Amelia used to change into a blood gem which fortifies weapons. This pendant passed down among the vicars who head the healing church is a reminder of the cautionary adage. To reveal the adage, touch the altar skull. Ta da! Gold blood gem. Now I can't quite remember what we can do with that one, but let's have a quick look. Oops. No, I want to fort blood gem fortification weapons. Attack versus beasts up 12.6%, which is actually reasonably decent. Uh, in fact, I'll slap that in there. Right. Now, the thing I fucked up on, which I'm going to tell you, this unseen headstone has the jail here. Now, if you remember the Santa Claus enemies with the big bags who are just full of evil, I got killed by one of those while I was off camera, and that gives you a cutscene which teleports you to that place. I then didn't do anything, I didn't take any items, I went straight out. But I will. we will be going there and I will show you it. Um, uh, Grand Cathedral. So, that's not being forgotten. I will show you that probably soon-ish. 
But that's what happened when I balked it up. Because I shouldn't have died to Santa, but I wasn't paying attention. Durr. Okay, there's some new things to see around here. And if you notice now, we got 15 insight. We gained one insight from seeing the vicar, which you, like, was off camera, unfortunately. Um, and we kill, got, got four for killing her. So we gained, we're essentially at 15 plus mythos now. And things starting to get a bit weirder. The night's progressed, and, uh, well, we better see some of the changes. These fine chaps, they're out. Their crazy staffs are glowing red now with, like, insanity debuff. Which is, uh, one of the fine changes we'll find here. Bite me. Evil, strange man of doom. So, yeah, their religious icons are now causing frenzy just by being near them, which is not good. If our frenzy meter caps out, by the way, we go bang. We do not want to go bang. Bang is bad. Now, progression-wise, I want to head this way, down that way. It's not essential for the main story, what we just did was, but that's where I want to go next. I think. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, these fine chappies are now inactive. So as long as we stay away from them. Oh. Says. They get a little bit sour. As long as we, uh... Just care. Uh. Sir, please. I care not for your petty warbling. Oh look, differences as well. These lanterns now have eyeballs all over them. Presumably they did before, we just couldn't see it. Isn't that nice and creepy for your creepy bucks? So they shoot, the eyeballs now shoot some sort of missile at us, which is not good. In fact, I'd say that's rather bad, because it makes things a hell of a lot harder than it needs to be. Okay, Scythe Man has, has another wonderful part. Oh, he has a gun, wonderful. Scythe Man here, his scythe is now on fire with some sort of demonic flame, which again, we couldn't see before, but now we can due to insight. Isn't that wonderful? Insight changes the way we perceive the world, and unfortunately not a good way, and it hits really, 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 really hard, which is bad, especially for my health. I say my health, I mean more Lady Kiko's health, but hey. But it's cool, they drop blood vials. Excuse me, sir. You have a very silly hat, so I wish to remove it from you. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a dude we've missed that's gone down this way. I'd rather go spank him before he comes up and spanks me from behind or something awkward. Not entirely sure where he's got to. Mm, maybe I killed him. I don't know. Entirely possible I killed him. Though, it, no, no, there he is. Sir, you with the silly hat. Oh, wait, you're without silly hat. You're with the silly hood. Okay, did I anger the dog? No, good. This dog is worth tons of souls, I have no idea why. Very strong. Dead. I can't move there's anything up here, so I'll have a quick gander. I'm pretty sure some goodies. There's at least one goodie. Did I get the goodie from this side? Lots of bullets on this roof. Wunderbar. And we can't go any further this way. Okay. Okay, we're finally gonna activate this area. Yay! Thick cold blood, so some nice echoes. This place is full of dudes who have died and gives us uh, madman's knowledge. It's worth getting them all, so what we're going to do is quickly take apart these two fine chappies, who again, luckily, we can go for a visceral attack straight away because they're crouched. Not that they like, really care for visceral attacks, truthfully. If you do this before killing the vicar, these guys are wandering around, I don't know, being sour or whatever it is these guys do. Thing is, these guys are the epitome of dudes who look big and intimidating, but aren't. As long as you- they're just big, slow, and stupid. Madman's knowledge, everybody's dead, yay, myth those points. Seriously, everyone's gone and lost their shit. It's probably not good for the health. Hey. Right there, me lover! You wanna swing that bit? Oh, nice try, sir, nice try. Cool, the bigger and wider you swing that, the easier it is for me. Nice try though. And he did. Okay. And more man to our knowledge. Now we can open up both sides, which allow us to do the cop in this area now as well. Which you couldn't do before. Which I 
it's very weird. There you go. Let's dispatch this chappy with the flame. Fr ah! Oh uh, god, that was a horrible decision. Okay. We need to head down this way, but we're going to open up the gate quickly. Beware of fire. Yeah, thank you. No, that was way too late. I completely forgot that guy had the flame for a dur. Okay. Crow, monster, crow, monster. I've been told off for calling them ravens. They're definitely crows. I'm sorry. Okay. We want to head to the back alleys because not only is it the, the back alleys of woe and joy, we can also find us a prostitute and a very angry man. Both of which I need for various different reasons. One I need the blood of and the other just because it's a completionist reason. Not for the reason you were thinking. Lady Kiko doesn't swing that way. That is using prostitutes. I mean, God knows what this blood has got. Okay. Okay, there's plenty of doors here, but there's also plenty of evil people I'd rather dispatch. Now, what way should I do this? I'm not happy with the enemies here, so I'm going to clear the enemies out first. There we go. Oh crap, I activated two today. Joy. This guy has some sort of like cage on a stick and he is not afraid to use it. And he is absolutely terrifying. Extremely dangerous. If you are caught anywhere in the middle of any of that, you are screwed. And that guy has a very big gun. Hello, man with a very big gun. Cool. Right. Black church set. Nice. We need that later as well. We can actually do get all of the NPCs in the game safely now. Now we've got all this. So, anyway, let's go talk to the people. Oh my, what a queer scent. Might as well take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. What is it then? I'm off during hunts, and besides, this is no place for ladies. Wouldn't want to drag you down too. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? The night is long, and there's very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Oh, thank you, dear. Perhaps I'll see you there. Oh, thank you, dear. Perhaps I'll see you there. You! You're not from around here, are you? Or an outsider who's come to join the hunt? What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Ah, oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast hunts. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. You know why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? If you think I'm an easy mark. Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. What? Still praying on folks with your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you've got. Tell me about your little safe place. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Two shouts. There we go. Now, the reason I told that guy about the clinic is because if you tell him about the clinic, he goes to the other place. Because he's an idiot. Whatever. My baby! My precious! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something strange going on with the infants here. Help me! Please help! <laughs> help me! Please help! Ain't no helping these people.